This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Baby Wrestling fans, welcome back to the November edition of MWF Alter. I am now joined by the one and only Commissioner Von Johnson as we head back to the ring. It is your pleasure as always, Dan Marotti, to, to speak to the real man. Here we have, right here, you want to talk about a hungry young athlete, Commissioner. Danny Duggan from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, drove over 30 hours to be here on the November edition of Alter. If that isn't hot for the professional wrestling industry, I don't know what is. You know, once again, here's another fine example of a young... Hungry athlete, this man, he did, you know, this is very impressive. This kid drove, and he's going to drive 30 more hours to get home. Danny Duggan, a star in the AWE promotion in Winnipeg, Canada. But he's going to be facing a man that's seen a lot of success here in the MWF, another hungry young athlete, Osiris. Well, obviously, he didn't drive that far, but you know what? We're going to see these very evenly matched athletes today. Both of these men have to be concerned about the big announcement that was made recently. The MWF overhauling NWA New England operations. I know you're going to have a lot more to say about this later on when we meet out in the studio. Oh, here we go, here we go. Osiris. Osiris has been impressive in recent competitions this year when he faced diehard Eddie Edwards back in January for the MWF Television Championship. Faced Dylan Cage, I believe it was back in April on MWF Ultra. He's come close and he's been impressive even though they were defeats, they were an educational experience nonetheless. He knows every time he gets out there, he's only going to get better. Well, it's going to be interesting to see the in-ring debut of Danny Duggan here in the MWF. Cyrus, we saw him recently. As a matter of fact, he had a shot at all three championships. He teamed with Black Lotus, Matt Ledge, back on the August edition of MWF Ultra in a defeat of the Canadian superstars Jay Buster and Dave Cole, managed by your good friend Johnny Fabulous. Well, you know what? It's going to be very, very soon that Johnny and I are getting together after we end this interview tonight. I think Johnny and I are going to have a little meeting tonight. You're going to be having a meeting with Johnny Fabulous tonight. Indeed. Watch out for Johnny. Well, Johnny, Johnny Fabulous is always up to no good. Well, he puts the S in sleeves. That's why he's the fabulous one, baby. The women know, the man dream, and that's what it is. What are we getting ready right here for the big lockup, Commissioner? This is the athleticism we love here in the MWF. These guys, they might not be the proverbial big guys that some talk about. They might not be six foot five, but you know what? They're athletes. We don't need the big man that everyone keeps claiming to have and to work the big man in independent wrestling. Oh, what? Speaking of the devil. Oh, look. That's Johnny him. Fabulous. Sniffing around, baby. Sniffing around. Scouting more talent. Who is he looking for tonight since he's your friend? Is he looking at Osiris? He is will. he looking at Danny Duggan? He likes the Canadian for some reason. I understand they call him the big Canadian. He does have a big Canadian, I understand. Commissioner Vaughn Johnson, please. What is Johnny Fabulous up to now? You never know what to expect from him. Money is no object. Time is of the essence. And the man is one of the best managers in independent wrestling throughout the country, but that's why he's with us. What a reversal right there from Danny Duggan. The Winnipeg native, he, you know he wants to make from a name for himself here in the MWF. I understand he's also a hockey player as well. With most you know, Canadians like to, uh, like to partake in the, in, the, uh, in the competitive ice hockey He sport. knows a victory in the MWF is going to lead to bigger things here in the United States. He got, rid, he got rid of those pokey beads, whatever they're called there, when he came in. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Osiris is fast. Headlock takedown from Osiris, and Danny Duggan is gasping for air. If you cut off that oxygen supply, you're not going to be very effective in the squared circle. Not at all, especially in that building. A lot of smell of that building. Smell of stank. Commissioner Vaughn Johns, how can you say that about your fans? Those are not, not the fans. The MWF fans, I should say. Certainly not uh, fans of yours, with some of the uh, remarks uh, you make about it. Uh, those moose halls all stink of, of believe me. Thanks. What the hell should shut them down permanently? A Moose Lodge is a good place for a mark, as they say. Uh, and many marks go to the Moose Hall, <laughs> and anyone that runs there is a big mark. Look at that Osiris reversal and mid-maneuver right there, and another arm drag takeover. And a short arm clothesline, and Danny Duggan 
uses his brain and goes out for a breather. Look at Johnny Fabulous over there harassing Rich Palladino. Richie needs to get up. Oh, here we go. Another maybe attractive fans. Here we go. <laughs> oh. There's definitely an Einstein in the front row. We can see this guy is definitely Harvard material. The Outback banner in the back. That, that's making me a little hungry tonight. Well, you know, Outback keeps giving us those free passes. Unfortunately, they're not good anymore. But. Well, Danny Duggan, he remembers Larry Zabisco a little bit right here. I think he's been watching those tapes. Stalling and taking his time. He wants the crowd to be on their feet. I wonder if Jay Buster and Dave Cole are watching this match. They're jealous. They think they're the only Canadians in the book. Uh, Commissioner, to your credit, and, there's, and a lot of people take their shots at you, but you know you brought in a lot of talent from Canada this year. Not only the Canadian superstars, but we had the big sexy beast back in May here in the MWF. Back in August, we had Johnny Reyes from Winnipeg, Canada. You have gone international. Well, we have to because obviously the Canadians know how to do things properly. They have socialized medicine up there. They don't have the politics we have down here. And they know that if they want to make it, they have to start on the American scene. And we know... And they know now we have a connection. Look at that back suplex from Danny Duggan. Oh, Osiris is in pain. Rocking Osiris right there. Osiris out just after two. What do we have here? Look at oh, that kick to oh. the spine of the back. I'm yes. cringing just watching that. I'm reading the resume right here that Mr. Duggan does indeed have a martial arts background. He has a martial arts background yes. as well. He's, he's, he's a busy man. Well, Hockey, martial arts, and pro wrestling. That's this. And I guess women on the side. Thank God, versus other people. Look at Osiris trying to battle out of it again. You know his spine must be hurting after that one. Dex the clothesline. Up and over, sunset flip. Oh, oh. Nope. Danny Duggan out at two. Look at the quickness. An elbow to the face right there. That has to sting. And out at two again. I like how Cyrus with a new fro. It looks good here with a new color. A new fro? Yeah. How do you call that a fro? It's a fro of the 90s or, you know, the millennium. It's a new fro. It's the new generation fro. New generation, that's right. Look at that. Ooh, Shades of ooh. another Canadian, Dino Bravo, right there. Ooh. And to add insult to injury, could that be it? Nope, Osiris out again, just after two. This is one of our finer referees I can see. He's really on the job. We have assistance from the, from the fans, as usual. Well, Osiris is one of the most popular athletes here in the MWF. The fans love to see him in action. He has a following, I understand, quite large. That's what Abel Hunter says. It is quite large. Look at that kick to the head from Danny Duggan. He should be trying to wear the man down, not play games with him. I, I don't have lost track of Johnny Fabulous. I don't even know where he is, Commissioner. Look at that boot to the midsection. Oh. And another suplex from Duggan. Osiris out again just after the two count. And Danny Duggan shows the frustration right Very there. Very frustration. Osiris is digging deep. He came to Boston for a win. It's an awful long car ride if you don't win. It's a long ride home to think about. It's, it's Wasted opportunity. Look at him right there, using the count to his advantage. He breaks before five. It is legal. What impresses me the most is you and I both know, and now we can share with the fans, many of the bigger independents throughout the country want to film of this. Boot to the face. So look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's look it. at Osiris choking the life out of Danny Duggan in the ropes. Well, reminds me there a little of Yoshihiro Tajiri. Oh, look at that. That Frankie Pizzle right there, Rich Palladino, keeping out this Johnny oh, Fabulous again. Why are you allowing this man just to come out to the ring, well, Commissioner? You know, Johnny is a proven man in my book, and he's one of my... Uh, so he can just roam out during any match he wants? Well, he's there as an extra pair of eyes. For who? Well, for he's me... He's referee. Have a, uh, I have... Wait a minute, Cyrus up to the top rope here. Oh. Goes to the cross body and gets a knee to the midsection for his trouble. Well... Scooping a slam from Danny Duggan. Quick, quick, quick. Off the rope, spinning. No, not in time. Ooh. Cyrus had enough left in the gas, gas tank, but Danny Duggan as quick as a cat, it seems. Well, not anymore. The cat just <laughs> got the clog. I cannot believe that you just don't. Let's have Johnny Fabulous come out to the ring. 
who does he think he is just to wander out during a match? He might have a manager's license, but he doesn't have business relations with either of these two men that I'm aware of. Well, unless you know something I don't. Well, to be honest, he before the match he asked me, and I said no. They're really not signed to a private uh, agent, and they're open for business. So Johnny wants to see what these guys are about. He loves the Canadians, as you know. Well, Cyrus hits Duggan up into the ropes. What a drop kick that was moments ago. Goes Ooh. for another big splash. Osiris gets air on that drop kick like I haven't seen since Ralph Lano. Exactly right. Duggan reverses him back into the post. There we go. Duggan going for a splash. No, double knee oh. to the midsection. Oh. Tells the referee to move and boot to the face. It's like a miniature version of Bruiser Brody right there. That's right. Get off the ropes. He's like an animal. I'm surprised he doesn't have hockey skates on in the ring. He's unrelenting. Drags out Osiris to the middle of the ring to try and get a pin. And look at that, using the feet on the ropes to his advantage. And the referee didn't even see it. This referee should be drug tested. He's like brain dead. Now that's no Sal Giliberto in there right now. Not even close. There must, there must be a temp agency that brought him out here. Well, you're the one that hires these referees. Yeah. He claimed he was good. Well, sets him up off the ropes. Cyrus over Danny Duggan. Boot oh. to the midsection again. Quick, baby. Look at that. Twist of fate oh. there, Ron Duggan. Is that enough to pin the Winnipeg native? Two, three, Osiris with another big win here on the November edition of MWF Aldrin. Look, look at him again. Here we go. Here he is. Johnny Fabulous, your boy. Liking what he sees. I wonder how much cash you had to put in your pocket to be able to come out and see yeah. this. Wouldn't you like to know, Mr. Marathi? Osiris continues his winning ways here in the MWF. You know he'd love a title shot at either Eddie Edwards or Dylan Cage. But one man that's going to have that opportunity, thanks to the jackal of all people, will be Todd Hansen. At least a chance to earn a championship opportunity. Todd when, we, <laughs> when we come back from this break, you and I will be in studio, and I believe the paperwork is here in regards to who Todd Hansen will pick for an opponent on November 25th and who Bo Douglas will team with on November 25th. Can't wait to see this. A lot more to come, and right there, Osiris being mobbed by the fans. We'll be back after this brief timeout.